Hi, welcome back to my second part of the tutorial. In this section, I'm going to show you how to edit your reference in the graph editor so you can speed it up, slow it down, I don't know, hold hold certain positions a little bit longer than usual, and extend frames out like you can do in animation, which is really useful for reference. So uh, in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to import this and uh, scrub it on the timeline like this. Uh, so if you want to go watch that first, go check that out first before you can get up to this. Uh, so I imagine you've watched that and you're here now, so you're all up to date, excellent. So uh, with your with your camera selected, or I think it's your actual frame of the animation, select it. What you'll need to know first is obviously how many frames are in your animation, in your reference animation. In my case, I have 75. These are all my imported uh, TIFF files. So I have, yeah, 75, because it says 75, organization. Uh, so what you need to know is the very first and last uh, number. So in this case, one is my first, 75 is my last. That's all you need to know mentally. Uh, and as you can probably tell, they've all uh, synchronized with my timeline. So one and 75, once I get past 75, it should go black because there's no, nothing there. Cool. So one and 75, that's all you need to know. In your case, remember, it's your own personal number. Right, with that done, go to the very beginning, the first, uh, your very first frame, which is one in my case, and make sure your frame extension matches it. Click Right click on the frame extension, which is, um, oh God, right there in the top right corner, frame extension and click break connections. With that done, you notice that you can drag the timeline and nothing happens. Don't worry, you've not broke anything. It's just working as intended at the moment because you broke your connection. It's not gonna actually animate. Now, uh, with that, that frame one still selected, click frame extension, click on it and click key selected. So that's set a frame on that. And obviously you notice again, oh crap, it's not animating. Again, work is intended, don't worry. Don't need to panic. Now go to your very, uh, go to frame 75. In my case, it's 75 because that's my last frame. For you, it may be different. Make sure you, like I said earlier, mental note of those previous frames. Uh, go to the timeline, drag it to where you want it to be. And remember to go to your frame extension and change that to 75. Click 75, like that. So now, and click key selected. Now, hopefully, if you go to your timeline and drag again, it's animating, but magical shit here right now. I just swore, damn it. You now have a graph. I'll blur that out. So what this means is that you can set keyframes. Let me just, um, sorry, I'm terrible at this. There it is, there it is. So now I have a graph editor. I can speed up my animation. I can slow it down. I can drag it in. So it's actually, it's a lot quicker now my animation. Uh, I may just drag it even more. I could, I could make it end super fast. It kind of ends there. Or I could, if I wanted to, I could go, okay, let's set a key here, a uh, key there. And what if I wanted to slow it down a little bit? Let me just move this up. So you might want to hold this position a bit longer. And then kind of speed it up. You get the idea. It gives you a lot of control over your graph editor. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll feel free to I'll probably create some more tutorials if when needed. Anyway, take it easy, chaps. I hope that helps. And peace out. And also, feel free to check out my Twitch channel, which I stream every day, every weekday, um, 7.30 till 9 o'clock GMT, uh, where there's animators in there, there's modelers, and if you have any questions, chuck it in there, and we're more than happy to help. And it's right there, look, twitch.tv.ioncore1. Anyway, speak to you all soon. Tati buys. Bye.